Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Battle of Reykjavik. We've played three games since the last episode and it's been a mixed bag. We can't seem to find any sort of consistency whatsoever. So the first game we played was against our relegation rivals, the team that are now currently one place above us, but we're one place below us going into this game. They actually won this one. As you can see, we had more shots, but our shot accuracy was awful. Not not a good game by any stretch of the imagination. Best player was this guy, and with 7.0 rating. And that result knocked us down to the bottom of the table. And then we followed that up with an excellent performance against Breiderblik. 2-0 victory there. Victor Johnson, Tonchi Radovnikovic getting the goals. Just show you them goals. When it wants to load... So it was Arneson with the ball from deep, brilliant pass, and Johnson, taking his time, finishes it beautifully to give us a 1-0 lead. And the second goal, Stan Grimson with a free kick, there's Radovnikovic on the end of it. 2-0 victory against Breiderblik, very happy with that. And then the game we've just played... This was a great performance. Snjarnin were top of the league heading into this game. Still are top of the league, in fact. And we managed to hold them to a draw. You can see that they had the majority of the game in terms of shots. We couldn't really, didn't really get many shots off. But we beat them on possession. And we managed to keep it 0-0, which I was very pleased about. However, Fram won their game on that day. So the table is looking like this. So we're bottom of the league, only two points clear from two points away from safety, but that's with like six, six goal difference to Keflavik. But if we win today, hopefully Fram will slip up too, and we can get above them. We are playing IA, who are in fifth today. So let's get into that game. Okay, so here we are for the IA game, and IA are clear favourites for this one. Obviously, we're bottom of the league there in fifth. But if we win today, we can. Ah, it says that we can move up. Oh, yeah, of course we can. We can move up to um, to ninth place. Depending on how many goals we score. But I'm not expecting us to score that many goals if we win at all. So I think that um, the formation that I'm using, it's calmed us down a bit, but we still can't find any form of consistency. So hopefully the players will get more used to this formation as, as time goes on. So I've got Aaron's in goal today. I've got Snorrison, Radovnikovic, Abiaga, Kajunzic at the back. There's Gaiasen in defensive midfield. Johnson, the sole central midfielder. Stan Grimson and Agnesson on the wings. Paltson, attacking midfield. And Victor Johnson, as the target man so hopefully we can get the job done normally when I say that we don't get the job done but you can move out the relegation zone if we win today so let's try and get a win did have a bit of a panic bit well before I was recording because I was keep on getting the crash dump at the same point of the game was in the middle of the Stjorn and match which the game has just gone and I was getting a, a crash dump every time I chain, tried to change make a substitution I tried to bring a Mielsen on and I tried to change his role and we've got a chance here have we? No it's cleared by Pedersen I was trying to change his role and it just kept on crashing on me I did it three times so it's Palsen Johnson is that a penalty? Yes yes it's a penalty come on come on Palsen we've been quite unfortunate with our penalties in previous games, obviously we had two games in a row where we missed the chance to score in the last few minutes. And Palsen scores 1-0. Excellent start. Stefan Paul Palsen moves us up to 10th. Yeah, so the problem was that I was changing the meals in the command. I was changing his role. Every time I clicked on a new role, the game would just crash. So I went on the forums, the um, SI games forums. And um, 
it told me to like clear cache and everything like that so i did all that and it seems to have worked now fingers crossed it, it won't happen again palson great pass to stein gribson now can he whip one of his famous balls in no he can't kajunzic as Gaiason switches flanks go on Agnesson. oh he's done him he's done him it's Agnesson. shoot oh just wide Good try though. Stan Grimson with a free kick. Headed toward the back post. Is that another penalty? Oh it is. Oh how fortunate are we today. It's a second penalty. That must have been for the a push in the box or something. Poor Stefan Paul Palson a chance to get his second of the game from the spot. Come on, son. Come on. Oh, it saved that time. I knew it couldn't be. We have to miss a penalty. We can't go a game without missing a penalty. Hope that doesn't come back to bite us. So it's half time and the penalty is the difference at the interval. Really should have been 2 0 up since we had another penalty. But I am happy with their performance as Geisen's looking quite tired in defensive midfield. This is why I need another defensive midfielder in the transfer window. So they currently only have Good Johnson and he's not doing very well in training, so he's not gonna get in the in the even the subs. He's not even getting in the subs at the moment. But it appears we're gonna have to take as Geisen off. So Kudoffrey. Oh, you can't really. Yeah, you really can't. <laughs> How about a centre back? Nope. Okay, I think I'm going to have to put Bjornison on. I'm going to bring Bjornsson on for Asgeisen, because Asgeisen is tired. Although, do I need to make that change yet? I think I'll wait. I think we've done pretty well so far in this game. Obviously, it's due to a penalty, but they all count, don't they? Really nervous about the fact that we didn't take or take our chance with that second penalty. I feel like that's gonna come back and haunt us in the latter stages of this game. Like Neil Reykjavik are doing some stuff at the top of the table this season. Well, they've got a free kick. Is that saved and then cleared? That was a big chance for them. So I'm going to make that change now. I'm going to bring Bjornsson on for his Geisen. No, he can't really play there, but... And... Kajunzic is tired. Johnson's tired. All my players are so tired. I'm going to bring Arneson on for Agnesson because Agnesson is supposedly knackered even though there's two people that's worse condition than him I don't understand that one and who else I really don't want to bring a Nielsen on because he was the cause of our crashes three times in a row Stein Grimson supposedly not having the best of games either, but mm, no, we'll leave it like that. Hope for the best. Biaga clears. Palson's not gonna get. Oh, he is. He gets onto it. It's Palson. Well, this is a chance. Oh, what was that? What on earth was that? He had options to pass to and he just decided to be greedy and hoof it out the field basically. It didn't even look like it was a shot at goal. Our conditioning is 
terrible guys let's bring John Johnson on for Jovan Kudrunzic a couple of minutes left in the game Deep in the stoppage time now. Surely it's a matter of time before the referee blows his whistle. Oh, please don't say they're going to score. Come on, ref. Blow your whistle. Yes. 1-0 victory. A vital result. Against a team we didn't expect to get anything against. Let's move this out of the relegation zone for the time being. Depending on how Farm and Keflavik do in those their games in hand. But unless they're playing each other, they're gonna have some difficult games in hand. Maybe not Fjord of Vigo, but the other three teams. So we'll be back with the cup game. The Icelandic Cup quarter final against Tinderstall. So here we are for the quarter final cup game versus Tinderstall. And weather favourites for this one. And let's have a look at the lineups. So obviously same formation as always. Change at the back, we've brought Trugvi Bjornesson in for Ibiaga. And then in centre midfield we have replaced Valdemar Johnson with Magnussen, both of those, well, the first change, Bjornesson coming in for Ibiaga is because Bjornesson trained better than, than Ibiaga in the week. And Magnussen came in for Valdemar Johnson simply because Valdemar Johnson's conditioning was a bit bad. So he's having a bit of a rest on the subs bench. Hopefully we'll be able to show our class today against the weaker opponent of Tinderstall. We are clear favourites, so expectations are high for this one. Hopefully we'll meet them expectations. And in other good news, Fram got beaten in the league, I think it was yesterday, by KR, so we're not going to be bottom. As Tinderstall have got a chance though, it's Haraldson. That was a bit of a golden mouth scramble, he managed to get it away though. It's Palsen coming away with the ball. Magnussen. Great pass to Stein Grimson. Can he cross it now? No, he can't. That, that's not what we've come to expect from Stein Grimson at all. So we head into the halftime break. Goalless. Not at all what we're expecting. Can they get a goal? Well, Kajunzic isn't having the best of games, is he? Who else? Palsen, Johnson, but well, we'll get into the second half. I'm going to keep an eye on Asgeisen and Kajunzic. Asgeisen because his conditioning is a bit a bit low. Kajunzic because he's been playing pathetically today, according to the match rating. And Magnussen intercepts. Long ball forward to Victor Johnson. See, there's only one V Johnson playing today. It's Palsen. Agnesson, can he keep it in? He can. He crosses the back post. Palsen's there. Stein Grimson. Yes, 1 0. Stein Grimson lobbed that over the goalkeeper. His first goal of the season. That is a breakthrough we do not deserve, but it's what we needed. If you look at our passes completed, that is terrible compared to theirs. 69%. Definitely need to improve that. But we're winning. That's all that matters. So we're going to make a change and we're going to take Asgeisen off again. And we're going to bring another centre-back on in, centre in defensive midfield in the form of Sebastian Ibiaga. And oh, Kajunzic is still not having a great game. So we're going to swap Snorrison and Kajunzic around and take Kajunzic off, bring John Johnson on. Everyone else's performance is okay, and I don't think I need to do anything with their conditioning yet. So we're going to make our final change, and it's going to be Stefan Paul Palsen coming off. And oh, he's not in the best of conditioning, is he? Hmm. 
and bring Valdemar on in a different position than what he's been playing recently because he's been playing in centre midfield recently but we'll bring him on in attacking centre midfield just for the last 10 minutes hopefully we can hold on for this victory that would take us to the semi-final of the Icelandic Cup as Magnussen gets booked there here we've got a throw it's John Johnson Magnussen Ibiaga plays it through to Victor Johnson oh he should have scored that should have scored that one on one with the goalkeeper practically could see the space he needed to kick it into but he just couldn't get it that way so we're deep into stoppage time Tinderstall have got the ball don't appear to be going anywhere with it this is looking promising and Radovnikovic with the interception there there we go full time whistle and we're through to the Icelandic Cup semi-final brilliant we've surpassed our expectations in the cup well done lads good win very good win. They they had more of the game, but we we snuck snuck a victory. We that was like totally not deserved at all. And I think we'll just do the semi final draw. See who we're gonna get in the semi finals of the Icelandic Cup. You can see that coming up tomorrow. We'll also be able to see how Keflavik got on. Obviously Keflavik are one place below us in the league but they've got their game in hand today they've got that against Fjord Bigo and they lost so that means we stay 10th so no one else has got any more games in hand on us therefore we stay 10th in the Icelandic Premier Division so Arneson is out for four to five months that's not really upsetting me that much because he's not playing at all he got injured in the under 19s game okay let's leave that to video That's an interesting hiring from Hoffenheim. We've got Klopp in. I'll have to keep an eye on that one. So here we are for the Icelandic Cup semi-final and the four teams that are left in are FH, Lycnia Reykjavik, Sindri and us. So there's three Icelandic Premier Division teams and one is that a first division team? Second division team, they've done well. They beat on their way to the final, I wonder. Let's just have a look at that. So they beat Berserker, Keflavik, Fram, there's two teams that are in the relegation fight with us. Interesting. So let's see who we get. We'll probably be wanting to play against Sindri, I'd imagine. So Sindri at home. Oh, like near Reykjavik got lucky. So we've got the difficult tie against FH away from home in the semi final. So we've actually managed to get two victories in a row. Two victories on a live com as well. That is a record for me. It's amazing stuff. So. We'll probably be back well we will be back for the semi-final of the Icelandic Cup that is it for this episode I hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to hit the like button subscribe to my channel to get all my content when it comes out leave a comment below and I'll see you next time